Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. I wanted to take a moment and show you really quickly how to save your images for use when you are offline, meaning you are not connected to the internet and you're using the Cricut Design Space desktop app. Now I am using version 5.4.10. If you don't have this version yet, hang tight. It's going to be here within the next few days for everyone. And if you do have this version or later, it might look slightly different, but the method's going to be exactly the same. So if you want to work when you are offline, meaning you wanna to go to a crop where you're not collected, connected to the internet, or you wanna work at home and not be connected to the internet, or you're someplace that doesn't have a good connection, you wanna work offline. Totally doable with the new desktop app as of version 5.4.10 or the time I'm doing this video. But in order to be able to do that, you do need to connect online to save the images to your computer or your projects. So what I wanted to walk you through in this video is how to save those images so that you can use them when you are offline. So I do have another video on this and it's changed just slightly how you do it, but it's pretty much the same thing. So as of this version, again, I'm using 5.4.10. This is how you're going to save your images for offline use. So you're going to go to images. And let's say I'm going to go somewhere and I'm going to work on Valentine cards. So I'm just going to put Valentine in my search bar and I'm going to find all the images I think I might want to use. And I'm just going to randomly select some. Let's just select this, this, a heart. And you can do this as much as you want. I'm just selecting them. And you can see as I'm selecting them, they show up right down here, just as I'm going to add them to my canvas or as they would if I was going to add them to my canvas. Maybe I'm going to make some Valentine shirts. I'll select these and one more. So once I have all these selected, and again, you can see them right down here in the project bin in the lower right, but you also see over here in the lower left, I have the option to download. So I'm going to click download. And you'll see right up here, it says images downloaded successfully. So that means I now have these available for use to use offline. Now, if I'm not sure what exactly I saved, I can always go up here to images. I'm gonna clear the search bar out. I'm gonna click filter and I'm going to click saved for offline. And that's going to show me everything that I can use when I am not connected to the internet. So these are just some images that I have saved for offline use. And you can see all of these that I have just added. You'll know that these have been saved if you see the check box right here, that little check mark, that means those are safe for offline. Now, if I would decide, you know what, I really don't like this one, I'm not going to use this one for offline, I can remove it. So I can, let's click off, let's unselect these. So let's say I don't need Christmas anymore. So I'm going to select those three images and then this box is changed to remove. Instead of download, it says remove. So I can just click remove and now those are no longer saved on my computer. So let's see if it worked. Let's go, I'm gonna go up here and I'm going to disconnect from my internet. I'm gonna turn my Wi-Fi off right now. So my Wi-Fi is turned off. Now let's see if I can use these images. So I'm just going to click this one, click insert images, and here it is. I am not connected to the internet. If you look up here, my Wi-Fi is turned off. So it's telling me to turn it on if I wanna use it. Wi-Fi is turned off, so I'm not connected to the internet, but I have my image here. I could actually click make it. And, oh, well, I've got it too big. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay, let's click make it. And you can see I'm sending it to my Cricut. I can hit continue. And again, I'm still offline. I'm gonna select my machine. And here we go. I can absolutely just pick what I'm going to cut it in and go ahead and cut this totally disconnected from the internet. But again, you need to be aware that before you disconnect, you need to make sure you have gathered those images and saved them for offline use. And you can see right up here, I'm offline. So if I want to go back online, I can go back up here. Well, actually let's, let's cancel this and yes. And we'll cancel this. And I just want to show you if you, so say I turned my computer off and I went to my crop and now I don't remember what images I had. I can just go to images 
and it's only going to show me those that are available when I'm offline. It's not even going to give me the full library because all I have saved to my computer are the images that I just showed you. So I just wanted to make sure you saw that. So I hope this helps and explains to you how to use design, Cricut Design Space offline. You can absolutely still use Design Space online, meaning you're still connected to your internet. And in fact, that's probably what I will do. And 99% of the time, I have a great internet connection at home. I don't have any reason to not be connected. So I will probably always work still online and I won't be saving those images to the cloud. But if I want to, I have that option and so do you. So I hope this helps. I hope that explains a little bit more about the difference between offline and online. We are still able to connect to the web even if you use the desktop app. Don't panic. You can still work online. You are not offline. What they meant when they, with the web version, it means you're no longer going out to the web. You're not going through Chrome or a browser such as Safari, Firefox. You're not going through a browser to get to Design Space. They have created the app which is design space that lives on your computer instead of living on the web. So I hope that explains the difference for you and you understand. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will try to get to each one of them or join me in the Cricut Facebook groups and I would be happy to help you out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.